All right, so there aren't many worded questions in the motion topic, but here is one on terminal velocity, and it can come up a few times, and it's a good way to make sure you memorize it to get strong marks. This question you can see is worth five marks, so let's take a look at it. It says the swimmer's speed increases as she swims away from the boat. The swimmer has a top speed. Explain why. So we need to think about the forces acting on the swimmer and then how that is going to affect the motion and how the forces change throughout the motion in leading her eventually to reach a top speed. So the first thing we're going to see is that she has an increasing drag force. Remember, she's moving one way. There's a force that's going to oppose her. OK, so we're going to say the swimmer experiences a drag force. Now we need to evaluate how that force changes with her speed. So we say as her speed increases, the drag also increases. Now this is the important bit. Her drag is also increasing, but it's not larger than her forward thrust yet. So therefore she's still moving forwards, accelerating forwards, but the amount that she does that is less because the resultant force has decreased. So we say, therefore she accelerates less. And now I'm going to underline that point because there's a difference between deceleration and accelerating less. Deceleration means slowing down. Acceleration less means you're still speeding up, but at a slower rate. So there is a key difference there, and that's one that catches people out. So I'm underlining it, so hopefully you can remember that. So she's accelerating less. And then we're going to say, eventually, her drag force equals the forward thrust that she is applying. And so the resultant force is zero. And as a result of that, if the resultant force is zero, the forces are balanced, there is no acceleration. So we say, she no longer accelerates and moves at a constant top speed called terminal velocity. So you can see here it's important to mention key terms like acceleration, resultant force and terminal velocity to make sure you capture all the things you need for your five marks.